Scene script, have you ever wondered how the stance of each United States president has impacted the African-American community? The United States of America, a nation marked by its rich and diverse history, has seen a remarkable array of leaders. Each president with their unique persona and policy approach has left an indelible imprint on the fabric of the nation. But today, we're not just looking at the broader strokes of history, we're peeling back the layers, diving deep into the nuanced narratives that often go untold. Our focus is on the African-American community, an integral part of the American society, their triumphs and tribulations, their struggles and strides, and how each president has influenced their journey. We'll be delving into the policies, the speeches, the actions and the inactions of the presidents, starting from the founding father himself, George Washington, all the way up to the present day. With each president, we'll uncover the facets of their leadership that directly affected the lives of African-Americans. We'll explore the stark contrast between different eras, between different leaders. We'll see presidents who championed civil rights and those who turned a blind eye to the injustices. We'll uncover the impacts of political decisions that still resonate today. And we'll see how the ripple effects of these decisions have shaped the African-American experience. The importance of understanding this aspect of history cannot be overstated. It helps us comprehend the present, the social issues we grapple with today, the progress we've made, and the long road we still have to tread. It's not just about knowing the past, it's about understanding the legacy, the lessons, and the path it has paved for the future. This journey won't just give us insight into the politics of the past, it will reveal the heartbeat of a community, the rhythm of resilience that has kept them marching forward despite all odds. So buckle up for an enlightening retrospective, a journey through the corridors of power and how they intersect with the lives of African Americans. Stay tuned as we journey through history to explore the impacts of presidential policies on African American communities. Our journey begins with the first president of the United States, George Washington. George Washington, a figure of towering significance in American history, held a complex and evolving stance on the issue of slavery. Born into the Virginia plantation elite, Washington was a product of his time and place. He grew up in a society that was deeply entrenched in the institution of slavery and, like many of his contemporaries, he became a slave owner. At the age of 11, Washington inherited 10 slaves from his father's estate. Over time, his ownership expanded through inheritance, purchase and the natural growth of enslaved families. At its peak, his Mount Vernon plantation was home to over 300 slaves. Yet, Washington's views on slavery were not static. They transformed significantly over the course of his lifetime. His experiences during the American Revolution, where he led a diverse army of men, including both free and enslaved African Americans, played a significant role in shaping his perspective. Washington began to express private misgivings about the institution of slavery. He lamented its effects on society and the moral implications it carried. He also began to advocate for gradual emancipation, a stance that was progressive for his time, but fell short of abolitionism. In his will, Washington made the unprecedented decision to free all his slaves upon the death of his wife, Martha. He was the only founding father who owned slaves to do so. This act was a clear departure from societal norms, and it marked the culmination of his evolving views on slavery. However, Washington's emancipation plan was not without its flaws. It postponed the freedom of his slaves until after Martha's death, effectively tying their liberty to the lifespan of another human being. It also did not provide for the many slaves owned by Martha outright, who were not part of George's estate. Washington's stance on slavery was a reflection of the prevalent societal norms of his era. His life offers us a glimpse into the complexities and contradictions of the founding generation's relationship with slavery, an institution that would continue to shape the United States for many years to come. Next, we delve into the life and presidency of Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, held a paradoxical position on the issue of slavery. Despite his public declarations of abhorring the institution, Jefferson was a slave owner himself. With over 600 slaves throughout his lifetime, this dichotomy between his words and actions paints a complex image of this influential figure in American history. Jefferson's relationship with slavery wasn't simply a domestic issue, it spilled over into his political life and policies. 
In his original draft of the Declaration of Independence, Jefferson condemned the British Crown for perpetuating the slave trade, accusing King George III of waging a cruel war against human nature itself. However, this clause was removed from the final version due to the objections of southern colonies. On a legislative level, Jefferson made a significant contribution to the anti-slavery movement. As the president, he signed into law the Act Prohibiting Importation of Slaves in 1807. This act effectively ended the transatlantic slave trade, cutting off the supply of enslaved Africans to the United States. It's important to note, however, that this act didn't end slavery within the country. It merely halted its expansion. The contradictions within Jefferson's stance on slavery are perhaps best exemplified by his relationship with Sally Hemings, one of his slaves. Hemings bore several of Jefferson's children, yet remained a slave throughout her life. This personal contradiction mirrors the broader paradox of Jefferson's relationship with slavery, a man who publicly decried the institution, yet privately benefited from it. Jefferson's actions and policies were fraught with contradictions, reflecting the complexities of the era. His life provides a window into understanding the complexities of the early United States where ideals of freedom and liberty coexisted uncomfortably with the harsh realities of human bondage. As we continue to explore the roles of different presidents, these contradictions will remain a recurring theme in the history of African Americans. Fast forward to the 21st century, we encounter Barack Obama, the first African-American president. Born to a Kenyan father and an American mother, Obama's presidency represented a seismic shift in the narrative of race within the United States. Obama's presidency was characterized by a number of policies aimed at reducing racial disparities. His administration worked tirelessly to reform the criminal justice system, a system that disproportionately affected African-Americans. This led to the reduction of the federal prison population for the first time in decades. Furthermore, Obama placed a strong emphasis on education. He launched initiatives such as Race to the Top, which aimed to improve schools in low-income communities. He also expanded Pell Grants, making college more affordable for millions of students, many of whom were African-American. In the realm of healthcare, Obama's signature legislation, the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, significantly reduced the number of uninsured African Americans. This was a game changer, guaranteeing millions of African Americans access to quality health care, and thus improving their overall quality of life. Yet, Obama's legacy extends beyond policy. He used his platform to spark a national conversation on race. His speeches, such as the one following the Trayvon Martin verdict, highlighted the lived experiences of African Americans, forcing the country to reckon with its racial disparities. Obama also celebrated African-American culture in a way that no other president had before. From inviting African-American artists to the White House to his public admiration of figures like Martin Luther King Jr. and Nelson Mandela, Obama's presidency was a testament to the richness and diversity of the African-American experience. His presidency, however, was not without its critics. Some argue that he could have done more to address systemic racism. Yet there's no denying that Barack Obama's presidency marked a significant milestone in the journey of African Americans. It symbolized the progress that has been made and the potential for further growth in the fight for racial equality. Obama's presidency marked a significant milestone in the journey of African Americans. Finally, we examine the most recent past president, Donald Trump. A figure who has been as polarizing as he has been influential, Trump's presidency saw a series of policies and public statements that significantly impacted the African-American community. First, let's delve into his policies on criminal justice reform. In 2018, Trump signed the First Step Act into law. This legislation aimed at reducing recidivism through various criminal justice reforms. It introduced new programs to prepare inmates for reintegration into society, including job training and drug treatment programs. This act was seen as a significant step forward in addressing the overrepresentation of African Americans in the nation's prisons. Yet, Trump's presidency also saw a fair share of controversy. His public statements often fanned the flames of racial tension. His response to the violent white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, where he claimed there were very fine people on both sides, was widely criticized. Many felt that such comments gave a tacit endorsement to racism. Further, 
Racial tensions seem to intensify during Trump's presidency. The deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor and others sparked nationwide protests against systemic racism and police brutality. Trump's response was to declare himself the law and order president, a move that was seen by many as an attempt to suppress the protests rather than address the issues they raised. It's important to note that viewpoints on Trump's impact on the African-American community are deeply divided. Some argue that his policies, such as the First Step Act and Opportunity Zones, had positive impacts. Others contend that his divisive rhetoric and perceived lack of empathy for racial issues overshadowed these initiatives. The Trump era brought racial issues to the forefront in ways that hadn't been seen in recent years. His presidency served as a stark reminder of the ongoing struggle for racial equality in America and the significant role the country's leadership plays in that battle. As we've journeyed through history, we've seen how the stance of each president has shaped the African-American community. From the founding fathers to modern leaders, each presidency has had its unique impact, for better or worse, on the African-American narrative. We began with George Washington, a man of his time, born into a society that normalized slavery. Despite owning slaves himself, he expressed discomfort with the institution freeing his slaves in his will. Although these actions did little to change the systemic issues at play, they marked a significant personal shift in a time when such views were far from common. Then we delved into the era of Thomas Jefferson, a president known for his contradictory views. Despite authoring the Declaration of Independence and its proclamation of universal freedom, Jefferson too was a slave owner. His presidency did little to advance the cause of African Americans, setting a precedent of stagnation that would persist for many years. Fast forward to the era of Barack Obama, America's first African American president. His presidency represented a monumental shift in America's racial narrative. Obama worked to address racial disparities in criminal justice and education, and his very presence in the White House symbolized a breakthrough in racial barriers. Lastly, we examined Donald Trump's presidency, a period marked by divisive rhetoric and policies. While his administration did implement some reforms benefiting African Americans, such as the First Step Act, his overall approach often heightened racial tensions. This journey through history underscores the complex and often fraught relationship between the presidency and the African American community. It paints a picture of progress setbacks and the ongoing struggle for equality and justice. Each presidency has left its imprint shaping the continuing narrative of racial dynamics in America. Understanding this history is vital to appreciating the progress made and recognizing the challenges that still remain. As we look to the future, let's remember the past, acknowledging the strides made and the work yet to be done. For it is only through understanding our history that we can truly shape a more inclusive and equitable future.